Welcome back. Today we're looking at claustrophobia. We're going to be watching a claustrophobic cave compilation. It's a bunch of cave diving and it's a compilation of this particular channel's basically highlight reel of all the most claustrophobic cave situations they've been in. It's 11 minutes long. After a brief preview, it looks horrifying. Um, the channel is called the Outdoor Channel. So I don't really think I have claustrophobia, at least not to a phobia level. Um, I would make an argument that claustrophobia is just common sense. Being stuck is something that I think all of us are afraid of it to a point, because I don't think I'm necessarily claustrophobic in the sense that I have a phobia of it, because I don't think I do. But if I ever am stuck or am at risk of getting stuck or watching videos of people getting stuck or at risk of getting stuck, um, it definitely makes me it makes my palms sweaty. Mom spaghetti. So I just wanted to clarify that, that I don't want to be the guy that's like, oh, I have every phobia, because it starts to be like, okay, come on, guy. But I think a lot of people watching this that will probably feel nervous watching this um, would also say that they don't necessarily have a phobia. It's just kind of an instinct. You know, it's like you just don't get stuck. That's like a, that's a pretty primal thing to know is locked in there. Like, don't get stuck in a cave where you can't get out because then you die. That being said, if some of you guys have actual claustrophobia, I'd love to hear from you because your reactions to watching this will probably far outreach mine where I might be like, ooh, I don't like this very much. This is kind of sketchy. You might just be like, <gasps> and if that's you, let me know. The Outdoor Channel, ironic because you're gonna be in caves the whole time. Never crawl into an unknown cave without a local guide or any experience. You might put your life in danger. A rescue mission costs a fortune. It's good to know they cost money. Like being a fireman where like you don't get paid for the more fires you put out. You just put them out because that's your job. But that's good to know that uh, they are charging a lot for people that foolishly go into these caves and then get stuck. You can prepare all you want. I'm sure some of these people that get stuck are like experts, but like caves, man. But no matter how much experience you have, once you walk into a cave and you hear a little Bro. <laughs> Starting off strong. Yeah, the helmet's really gonna save you. And there's water. Okay, looks like it's kind of diagonal. You can tell. You can orient it off the water. Bro, though, there's like just... If there's just barely enough room to where you have to like figure out how to fit your body through each crevice. Look at this. He had to take his helmet off. Also, props to the cameraman. I, w I think the camera's just sitting there, but it looks... No, yeah, someone's definitely holding it. Yeah, it looks like for this one, too. But I've seen lots of cave videos where they will set the camera up, and then they'll, like... Or behind behind them? I don't know. They'll throw the camera? I don't know. Or they'll have one guy go up ahead and set the camera down, and then film the guy coming up. Complicated. But imagine, like, having to deal with filming this. It's like, you're already in there, and now you've got to, like, deal with do camera work and light work and all sorts of stuff but you want to film it because otherwise no one else will know just how insane you are bro look at that gap I would look at that and be like no I know we came this far but like I'm not doing that there was a quote in another cave video I watched where um, the, it was this father and his son. I might watch one of their videos eventually if you guys like this claustrophobia type stuff, cave diving stuff, because it really is something. Um, but the motto that they would share is, if you get stuck, don't panic, because you can just get unstuck the same way you got stuck. And that is probably a comforting motto to have. But my thinking is, hey, sometimes, like, you slip and fall. Sometimes, like... It's not always that simple, you know? Like, you might have a good grip to get yourself into the situation. Might not have the same kind of grip to get out. You might fall. Maybe it's easy to get into it going forward, but maybe you can't really figure out how to get out backwards. Or maybe you just have to poo, you know? What are you going to do? Look at these rock formations, though. This is wacky looking. Uh, these have got to be some of the bravest people, though. Or stupidest, but I would like to say brave. Brave is a much nicer way to say it. Because they're obviously, like, professionals. They have the gear. You know, they have the helmet, which apparently is the only gear you need. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what other gear you bring on this adventure. You probably want to remain as slim as you can. Look at this, dude. 
Uh, luckily, like caves, like I would like to say that they don't really move a whole lot. It's not like there's loose rocks that could fall. I'm sure sometimes there's exceptions, but it's all pretty solid. So you don't have to worry about like your environment as far as it it doesn't really change but just moving through it that guy's got a bag he was dragging now what's this this ain't what kind of cave is this oh that reminds me this video Bro, what if you go halfway through and then there's like a grate or like a rock blocking the way, you know? You can't really get back out again. Dude. Sometimes these caves are like mapped out by like previous diver, or divers. <laughs> I guess, yeah, divers, cave divers, spelunkers. Spelunking. Yeah, you know, cave diving. Where like they'll have, I don't know how you map this, how you draw this in any helpful way, but there must be a method to like help people maneuver their way through. Um, but some of, sometimes this is like the first person to go through here. I've watched videos of people going through a cave for the first time um, where they don't really know how far it goes. They don't know, uh, you know, it's like you're the first people seeing it ever. And you don't know like how, you know, you don't know how long you're going to be in there. Every, every, new crevice you crawl into you don't know where it's going to lead you luckily they seem to have lots of lights on them so there's not a whole lot of like surprises because if you were in there in the dark obviously you could just be trucking along and then fall over an edge or something like that they're prepared and aware of their surroundings the, the ones full of water though mm. i don't know why the water would ever raise but imagine if the water started to rise <laughs> That's some Sonic the Hedgehog stuff. It must feel so nice to crawl through something and, and open up into a pocket like this to actually be able to stretch out and maybe even stand up. Dude, how do you get into this sort of thing? And what possesses you to get into this? I know there's a certain level of like satisfaction and like some, something cool about like getting to discover a cave for the first time or you know maybe not the first time but somewhere that few people have been it's kind of like a puzzle how are you going to get through it um, and then there is probably a, a whole heck of a lot of satisfaction when you get out when you re return from your successful cave exploration but like sheesh dude I don't know how you get into this like look at this <laughs> You'd think you'd just be like, no, I don't think I will. But then it begs the question of, I can only speak from my own perspective, but like, is it that it's an instinctual fear that we all should have to not do this? And these people are just really good at like powering through that, kind of like a mind over matter thing. Or is that part of their brain just like, not there, dude. Seriously though, it's like just enough like, what if you slip? It'd be cool to, like... This is stupid. I, I love music, so of course I'm thinking this. But it'd be cool to, like, be playing music while you do this, you know? Get the get the uh, acoustics of the cave. I don't know where you'd play it from. But, like, just... This would be cool with some, some upbeat music, maybe. Or you could play horror sounds or Minecraft cave sound compilations uh, to really get into the zone. Maybe some jazz would go well with this. Or just the National Treasure theme song on repeat. I'll get you out! I found the city of gold! I found it! Hats off to these dudes, though. The fact that they have this much footage, and this is just highlights. This isn't all the caves. I'm sure there's some stuff that didn't make the cut for this video that was maybe a little nerve-wracking, but not that bad. Also, what's the bucket for? What is the bucket for? Oh, it's not a bucket. It's like a thing. What's in there? I don't know enough about cave diving to know, but I don't know, water, maybe? It might just be full of any supplies they might need, including water. But yeah, I wonder how long like your average cave dive takes. Like, like how long has it been to get to this point and then how much longer after this point were they still in there? Like, bro, look, he crawls out of this and you can see there's like another 
something down there to go through. Uh, what do you think? This is flat. Do you think it's vertical? There he is, dragging the bag. Dude. And what is it about rocks that make them form this way? Why is there such a human-sized gap between solid rock and solid rock? It's really interesting how often they've been going through shapes like this. Creepy, though. Again, it, it's just another one of those... Maybe video games have ruined this for me, but so often do you find yourself in a situation where, like, the ceiling starts going down and you gotta get out of there? Or, like, the water starts rising and you gotta get out of there? Like, this just makes me think that you're gonna hear a big rumble and then you're gonna sense that it's starting to come down slowly and as you're crawling out, you can feel it getting a little tighter. No helmet on this one. Bro, look how small that gap is. And the water. Dudes, you guys are crazy. Claustrophobic cave squeeze. What's going on here? That feeling when you realize you're not dying today. I'm glad that I quit cave diving since the day I was born. The phrase, just because you can doesn't mean you should, really fits this. <laughs> it really is the ultimate. Just because you can fit, just because you can go in there, doesn't necessarily mean that you should. But that's also like something I like about humans, is like, you have to have people that do something that there shouldn't really be a reason for, other than just curiosity or some level of satisfaction. Um, that's how lots of discoveries are made and how we progress as people and how we have crazy stories and discoveries and whatever, you know? And videos like this for me to watch. If no one had the balls to do this, then I couldn't watch this from the safety of my home and go, wow, that's crazy. Caves look pretty spooky. Like, I otherwise wouldn't know what this looks like. I don't even know that there's caves out there like this because no one had ever been in them. Everybody ganks it to the water level starts rising. See, that's what I'm saying. I imagine if you genuinely have claustrophobia, this must be the worst thing to watch. It makes me nervous, makes my palms sweaty. I wouldn't want to do this, but I'm not like shaking or like having a panic attack looking at this. Although it, it is a video. If I was in it, then maybe I would, but looking at it, I'm more or less okay. The feeling of having solid rock all around your body preventing free movement and could possibly get you stuck forever just doesn't sit right with me. That's really the whole thing about it you know it's solid rock if you were in these caves and like it was like a something squishy that like if you ever got into like a completely tight situation and where you could kind of like weasel and push your way out of something like that'd be one thing but solid rock doesn't move especially when it's not like a thin layer of rock like it's a rock like you're in a rock essentially you're in rock in every direction and uh that's a little terrifying because when you're stuck you're stuck you can't chip away at it can't like push your way out of it in the same way um like, like i said earlier that little motto of you can get unstuck the same way you got stuck and that probably applies to like 90 percent of the cases of when you do get stuck you can just kind of try to go in reverse and get out whatever that way but you know that doesn't always apply you might get you know, you might slip, you might get stuck in some weird way, you might wedge your foot in an awkward angle where you can't unwedge it, whatever, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I always feel weird saying that at the end, because that's a normal thing to say, is I hope you enjoyed this video, but like, I don't think anyone enjoyed this video. I think that we watched it because we're just, just so curious. You know, it's like a train wreck. You can't look away. It's like you watch NASCAR, and then the the car crash is the most interesting part. People are weird. You know, we shouldn't want we shouldn't look at this because it makes us nervous. But I might watch another one after this. I might watch what the other video was about because I like this in a weird sort of way. Um, so yeah, I hope you did too. Uh, I hope that you relate to that weird curiosity enjoyment. Uh, thrill seeking something i don't know at any rate thank you guys so much for watching and as always i feel a little silly asking people to subscribe because it's just something everyone does way too much but if you like this and like what i'm doing um consider subscribing so you can be a part of my little youtube journey and see what else i do um and yep i will see you guys next time thanks for watching